because when you put that phone here, your head is the antenna. And half of the radiation from the phone gets into you. That's the modeling work that we've done at Environmental Health Trust, which shows that a young brain will absorb the radiation almost all the way through the eye, and even an adult, 34-year-old, it will still get into this part. And we are seeing effects uh, of, of many different sorts as a consequence of this. Those who are on the front line of dealing with young children are deeply concerned about this at a professional level in the United States and around the world. In Israel, as well as France, as well as Belgium and Taiwan, there's an active government program to discourage the use of mobile devices by young children. There's a growing literature showing that prenatal exposure to mobile phone radiation causes serious defects in the offspring. Smaller brains, more brain damage. There are good reasons for concern about the long-term and short-term effects of mobile phone radiation, particularly on children, but especially on sperm. Now, the sperm studies have been developed in more than seven different countries, and what they find is that the sperm that are exposed to current levels of mobile phone radiation die three times faster and have three times more damage on their DNA, indicating that mobile phone radiation is damaging to human sperm. The breast cancer story in mobile phones is complex, as breast cancer is a complicated disease. Most of the women who get breast cancer are age 50 and older. However, growing numbers of young women are developing this disease who don't have any of the inherited risk factors for it at all, who have no family history of it, but they have one thing in common. They have all stored a mobile phone right in their bra. And in several cases, the tumors have developed right under the antenna of the phones. No phones are tested for little kids, for babies playing in their bouncy chair, for toddlers sitting in front of an iPad on an iPoddy, for pregnant women holding these things over their bodies. There are no tests of radiation absorption. That's why we at Environmental Health Trust are doing that modeling now. But it's really critically important that we do this research, that we train people in this field, and that in the meantime, we join with other countries around the world giving people safety information. You have a right to know that that mobile phone is a two-way microwave radio and should not be kept close to your testicles or your ovaries or your heart or your brain.